Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. This is part two of the HR database. In this module, I want to show you how you can add things into your table design to speed up data entry. So what I want to do first of all is look at the data I've typed in this table, the first table I did on the last session and see how I can add some features to it to speed up how I'm entering things. So I've been putting some data in there and I did set last time Sunderland to the default value, but when I'm typing these other cities, it's a process that I can I have to do and it's prone for error. So what I want to do is create another little table, which will just be a list of cities that I'm, I can look up and put them in. So that's what I'm going to do first off. So I'll close that off, save the, it's not asking me about the data itself. It's just talking about layout when it asks you to save these tables. I will say yes to that and then I'm going to create a new single uh, table with a single column which is just going to be called city and I'm going to leave everything default like that so I'm not going to do anything other than that it's just going to be short text and then if I click on view it's going to ask me to save it TBL cities I'm going to call it and I'm also going to put LU at the end of it so I know that it's a lookup table no primary key, I don't want a primary key, I don't need a primary key, but what I need to do is now add the cities that I want to be in my lookup list. So, Lees, Leeds, Bradford, and I'll just do a list. Newcastle, and Sunderland has to be in that list, I suppose. Um, Bradford, Leeds, Sunderland. We'll go for Derby. I'll just do one more after Derby. Um, Manchester. So that's the list. Close that. Don't need to save anything. I'm not going to save that. Don't need to save it. But what I can do now in this table, if I go in straight into design, so I've just right clicked, go into design view. On that city column, I can select the lookup option down the bottom. And this is a manual way of doing it. There is a wizard in here. If you wanted to go in here, you can do the lookup wizard, but I'm going to do it manually. So basically I need to change this from a text box, which is to a combo box. And the other option was just a list box. Now it's set to table and query, which is what I want. If I drop that down. You've got two other options in there, but table and query will do for now. And then I basically just have to select the table I want it to look at, which in this case is cities. There is only one column, one bound column, and the first column is the one I want. So everything there is OK. Just need to save that. Click on View. And then if I just add somebody else, so if I add, say, Janet Taylor, she can live at 1 Red Road in Derby. So when I come across to Tab Across, there's now a drop-down list there which I can select, but I could actually just type the letter D. So if I just go back into that one, tab, type D, tab, and then it will come off onto the next field. So it's quite useful when you do that. And then you can fill the rest of this in. Date joined, so that's today. So I did the key command, born on the 1st of the 1st, 2000. And that's her in. Now you can also, that is a, a very small list. If I wanted to add some extra cities at the moment, the way this is set up, if I just get rid of that for a second, it would let me type, for example, Glasgow, even though Glasgow is not in that list, which is not necessarily something you might want. So I'll just put this back to Derby for a minute. If you want to restrict that list, you have to go back into design, get down to your lookup and restrict it. So limit to list, it's on no. That's why it allowed me to type Glasgow. If I change that to yes, save this, go back into it, drop the little arrow down. There's my list still, nothing's changed. But if I try and put something in there that's not in the list, like Glasgow, when I tab off it, it comes up with an error message. It's a bit like data validation in Excel. I can't have that. I can only select something from that list. So by doing that limit to list, it's got 
pluses and minuses obviously the negative is if you have got other cities that you need to be putting in here you would have to go into the lookup cities table and add them at the bottom there so if i did want glasgow i would have to type it in there like so now if i close that down and then drop this down so let's not pick that up yet so if i tab off this record get a new record see if it's picked it up now click on the next one down okay it hasn't picked that up that goes definitely there so maybe i need to just close the table and pick it up so I'll close this table open it up again see if it's there yes it is so I just need to close this down or refresh it really I could have done uh, and then um, that will bring it through so a limited list is good but if you have to add anything on you've got to put them into the the source table the lookup table so that's all I want to talk about in this little video how you can do these little lookup lists to make your data entry a little bit more accurate so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one